Welcome to Master and Apprentice Podcast. Um, we're doing another Bubble Fit review, episode five, I believe. Um, and oof, man. Um, I usually let Athen go first, but I, I, I have too many words to hold back for let Athen go first. I, I give it a nine out of ten. It was so close to perfect I just can't give it a 10 out of 10 in a Boba Fett series without a Boba Fett <laughs> I, it, I don't there were a couple of scenes we didn't need that you could have fulfilled with Boba Fett but this was near perfect this was an amazing episode the start was so badass so awesome the, there are so so many calls to the prequels my favorite one was the podcast, not the podcast, the pod racing, the same pod race track that Anakin that we saw in the first one, that like Canyon and all that. That was awesome to see. The N1, the Naboo Starfighter. Just so amazing. So much lore that we just learned about Mandalorians. So amazing. Honestly, I, this is the way. I just. Man, before I go on too much, after you go ahead. All right, I'm gonna start with the bad, which is very few and far between. Like I think I got two complaints, and they're and they're relatively minor complaints. Like I don't even think that they're real ones. They're, like this one's not even a real one. Boba Fett wasn't in the episode. Well, uh, okay, they're gonna get to that. Obviously, it's a TV show. The next episode is gonna be Boba Fett in it. My only kind before my only go. problem with that would be is like. This was a longer series, I get that, but this is a seven episode series. Yeah, and this wasn't a short episode. Like they had a thirty something minute episode. This was a fifty one minute episode. Exactly. So in seven episodes you take your time on you like you take the first four episodes, go really slow, and we get a bunch of action in the fifth episode all of a sudden, and there's no Boba Fett. Like Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we needed Boba Fett in every episode. I get giving a bunch of backstory to Mandalorian. So Din Djarin, because that sets up Mandalorian season three perfectly. But the fact that we had no Boba Fett at all, I, I just can't get yeah. time out of ten. Like I said, this is a near perfect for me. It, it really is too, and uh, I think the other thing was, I, it was something to do with the dark saber and just how the I, I can't remember who is the big Mandalorian. Uh, something Vizsla. Yeah, the the Vizsla dude. He was really passionate about all of it and I, I just wasn't all in about all that what because he's related to pre Vizsla pre Vizsla is related to Tar Vizsla and Tar Vizsla created it so like it's kind of sacred to that family line like like most of them held the dark saber how that family line created it so like he feels some sort of like you know, like it's like a, it's like a football team is created by a family. Yeah, and they held the mantle for it, and then they sell it to a different, the you know, a different family, and all of a sudden, like that son who wasn't born into it was like, "What the hell? I kind of feel like I need to buy it back, almost." You know? Yeah, I, I mean, I get that. It's it's a little bit part of the um, what's it called? Din Djarin's no longer a Mandalorian. She was called out by that one dude. I mean, I don't know if you consider a, him a either. That's what the whole next season's gonna be about, which I think is possible. Or B, they just wanted to get him free from that. Like obviously he's no not no longer a Mandalorian, right? Like Bo Katan takes her helmet off all the time and she's like the definition of a Mandalorian. It's just a different creed. Yeah. Right. So I'm hoping that's what it is. Like they're just getting rid of you know, they're either setting up the setting and plot line for the next season. Or they're just kind of like trying to get him further and further away from that clan because you know we want to see him with more Bo Katan. Yeah, you know? but yeah, the, that, that I mean, I had very minor, minor complaint. Like that's not even a complaint. That's something that I just don't love the idea of, and I know they're gonna turn into something else awesome based on the rest of this episode alone. Mm -hmm. But oh my gosh, she goes in. I mean, with the dark saber, kills a whole bunch of people just to. Get, get a bounty, and he's not looking for the money. He's looking for the 
he's looking for information. And, I mean, it's just beautiful all around just to see Mandalorian Boba Fett's going to come into this. And I I love the speeder, the Naboo, uh, Naboo Cruiser thing. Like, I mean, that's the... Oh, the yeah, I wanted stuff. another Razor Crest and all. But then you see how fast that is, and he's like, how do you turn on the hyperdrive without turning it on? That wasn't the hyperdrive. That was like, yeah. it was just ridiculously fast and all that. And it, obviously, that's going to come into play. But it's just, oh, so much. And he wanted a set of armor for Grogu. Like, or is that going to... Or I think it's going to be a necklace, possibly. Because when he when they put it down with a bunch of chains. Regardless, for a second there, I was like, holy shit, they're going to make a helmet for Grogu. We're going to have a baby Yoda Mandalorian Jedi. <laughs> like shit my pants there and I was yeah. but if not I'm obviously they didn't make a helmet so that's not what's gonna be regardless the... so much packed in this episode it was just so oh, yeah. beautiful it just my oh, I can't give it a ten out of ten. Like if this was a Mandalorian episode or this was the starting of Mandal Ma- Mandalorian <laughs> season three, ten out of ten. Yeah. By this, far. Is, this is like like kind of towards the end of Boba Fett. Like if this was like one of the first episodes in Boba Fett, it'd probably be a ten out of ten. But considering we're at seven episodes for a season, this is episode five. So on the second half, not the first half, I mean, there's no Boba Fett. It's, it just can't be a 10 out of 10 for me, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're going to have to do a – I think next two episodes are both going to have to be, like, longer ones just because there was nothing well, Boba Fett-wise. This was going to be awesome. episodes in a row, so I'm assuming that's how it's going to be. Yeah. And, I mean, they said they needed muscle. One person isn't muscle, so I feel like they got another episode – of someone else that's going to come in. Yeah. I hope it's not the whole episode of someone else coming in, but I think it's going to be like a couple more people getting, being rallied up with Boba Fett and all that. And then the final episode is going to be them taking down the pikes or I was. Yeah. Go ahead. However, that turns out what I was thinking is like, this possibly could end like the season could end without us seeing the start of the war with the pikes. Like it's all getting him prepared and as the season ends, it's like, all right, the war is starting. And that's what season two is all about, is the war. I could actually see that. That would be interesting. It would suck, but it would make <laughs> the second episodes very intriguing. Like, okay, how are they going to do this? Yeah, because I don't think they spent... can make a whole war in two episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah, they spent a whole episode just getting Mandalorian. They're either leading up to something crazy. Either there's more than seven episodes in the season, which there's not. Or they're gonna do something crazy. Like, the I totally see what you mean. They could, could season two could be based around the Pike War or something like that. Yeah, and then the rest of the episodes are about him getting more people, or yeah. about the Mandalorian. Oh yeah, that would be beautiful. Like, who, I mean, there's a million other people he could get. I mean, I I still think Cad Bane would be an amazing person. I actually watched um, Return of the Jedi again today and. I saw one of Cad Bane's species in the back, and I mean, that gave me flashbacks, not flashbacks, but it just put the idea in my mind that Cad Bane could be in this, and I mean, I know that that's literally a 1980-something movie, but it would be beautiful to see other awesome bounty hunters in this, like Cad Bane. Yeah, I completely agree. And doesn't even need to be bounty hunters. Like, he could hire out a, a group of people that I mean granted bounty hunters are the easiest way to get muscle for money it appears but still regardless it... it's whatever the next couple of episodes are gonna hold I'm watching I'm ready yeah <laughs> I'm excited bro me too put in the comments what you guys thought of this because I've seen like most people loved it but a couple of people like me except way further down the line, they're like, uh, yeah, this episode was shit because there's not even a guy of Boba Fett. Oh, come on. Which I get. I get. But like I said, I can't give it a perfect. But you got to admit, bro, like the rest of this, just because there's no Boba Fett, this episode was beautiful visually. I mean, I understand. Wise, expecting it was one. just beautiful. It really was. And I, I get That's why I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because there's no Boba Fett. But it does not ruin anything else from that episode. Yeah. But, like, I understand expecting one thing and then walking in and something completely different happens. But, like, come on. This was an amazing episode nonetheless. You're expecting good Star Wars content. And just because it didn't have your character, you're going to hate on the episode. Like, I, I I understand it probably should have had Boba Fett. Like, they could have had Boba Fett sent there instead of um, his sidekick. 
like that 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 would be an easy addition. But I mean, probably got a reason. Boba Fett's probably not sitting there in a box to tank, considering he doesn't need it anymore. He's probably doing something back on Tatooine. I agree. Uh, again, like I said, just set up so much for the next two episodes. It sucks. There's only two more episodes, but I'm still excited regardless. Yeah, me too. So put down in the comments what, what you think of this episode and what you think next two episodes will be. If anyone guesses, like I, I said, will be like, do you think the Pike War is going to be seventh episode? Do you think the Pike War is going to happen at all? Like, do you think they're just going to diplomacy this off? What do you think is going to happen in the next two episodes? What new characters, if any, do you think will come? Put it in the comments and then we'll give you a thumbs up if you're right. And then we'll make fun of you if you're wrong. Absolutely. And with that, uh, hit that subscribe or that like if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're listening to this on any podcast platform, hit that follow. Give us a rating, share. Um, we're just starting to expand, baby, and it's it's fun. Star Wars content is about to get spicy, and it's going to be fun to share. So um, with that, are you good, Afton? I'm good. All right. I think we'll see you guys in the next one.